YouTube, it's Mitch at iPhoneCaptain.com. Today we're going to be looking at a brand new tweet called Burst GIF. So let's go ahead and dive right, right let's in. Let's go ahead and take a look now at GIF Burst or Burst GIF. I always want to say it backwards, seem like Burst GIF. Right here it is, $1.49 in Big Boss Repo. And it's by Alexander Loris, looks like. Something like that, Alexandra. Anyway, guys, this is a pretty awesome tweak. If you are one that likes to share GIFs on social media or anything like that, this is going to be a tweak that you're going to probably go to quite often. And what it does is, you first thing you need to do is take a group of first photos. Now, I'm going to open my camera up here and just show you a few things around here. The simplest way to take burst photos is just hold down and you heard it took eight photographs. You saw the little number eight pop up on the screen. Just hold down the photo button and it will take burst mode for you. Okay. There's other ways of doing it, but that's the simplest way I'm going to show you here. And once you have your tweak installed and you have taken a group of burst mode, then you can open up your photos here. And in here, you'll, the burst uh, will actually stand out. And the way they stand out is they're stacked on top of each other. If you notice here, my little dog here, once, the one where she's squatted right there, that is a burst mode, and so is this one. You see, this one has 30 photos in it, and the one before it only has three. So that you know, shows that I held the button down a lot longer in the second one. But when you want to put a gift together you just open up your burst stack and you tap the select button and you see down here at the bottom if you want to get an idea of what your gift will look like you can sort of flip through here a little bit faster than normal to get a sense and it you'll see the different poses that's going to be included and if there's one in there you don't want to include just don't check it but the bad news is, if you take 100 photo, uh, photos with your burst mode, then you're going to have to check each one of these by hand in here. Now, personally, I think that's something the developer needs to add, is a way to check off all of these at one time, and then uncheck the ones you don't want. That would be much, much faster. And you see up there at the top, it keeps count the number of photos that are selected. And once you select what you want, you just tap done. And then you're going to get this pop up here. And it's going to ask you if you want to export a GIF. And of course, you're going to want to do that if you're using this. And here's the next important thing is your speed. Your frames per second. Now, if you get this astronomically fast, you're not going to be able to see anything. So... I would try to keep it at least down to, you know, five, around, let's say four to eight or ten photos per second at the most. So, in this photo, in this selection here, you see I have 12. So, let's tap done and we'll tap export. And 12 divided by three would be four frames in three seconds. So that's how that's going to be. See, my, my GIF would be three seconds long with four frames in each second. So that wouldn't be too bad. And then I could name this one my dog. I've, I've got her name several times. And then I'm also going to save, select it to camera roll. And also, if you want to keep your burst sequence, you can flip this one on too and just tap export. And it'll process those just about that fast. Now, if we go back into our photos, you're going to see down here at the bottom, shade 4, that's the one we just did. So it's very easy to find your GIF once you do it. Now, here comes the bad news, though. Unless you already have another tweak installed called GIF Viewer, you're not going to be able to even see what you have put together until you put it on the web. Now, once you export it to the web or your computer or something like that, then they can read the GIF for you. But I strongly recommend getting a tweak called GIF Viewer. It's 99 cents, so it's going to cost you another buck to get this particular tweak here. And guys, I don't get a penny for you buying these, so don't think I've got some kind of connection with these guys. 
here's what gift viewer looks like and you have to have this in order to view that like I was just viewing it but if you if that's no big deal to you don't worry about viewing it just put it on the web or share it or your computer wherever you want email it and you can read it right on your computer just like I was just doing right there earlier but this is what they look like right here's one you just saw here's one here's a, a few others that I put together earlier uh, here's one I did with a little bird that I have get from a guy that I know but you know here's another one I did and you can see it's sort of blurry and you're going to see that that's going to be one of the problems you have a lot of your photographs are going to be blurry but guys it's an awesome tweet grab it i think you'll really enjoy this first gif check it out in big boss for a dollar 49 if you're not a subscriber we'd like for you to hit that subscribe button before you leave and also share this video with all your social media and keep coming back